Hi friends, welcome to our clinic. I'm Dr. Amy Coyman. We understand that surgery can be a very scary thought for any pet parent. And so we wanted to take you on a tour of what happens when you bring your pet in for their appointment. This video will give you an idea of what to expect and hopefully provide you with some comfort in knowing that your pet will be well taken care of. Upon arrival at our clinic, you will be greeted by one of our team members who will verify your appointment information. Your pet will then be taken inside to get an accurate weight. This is very important so that we can calculate the proper dosages of drugs for surgery and aftercare. A brief physical exam will be performed on your pet to ensure it does not have any obvious signs of disease which may make them a risk for anesthesia. Please know that while we can spot some things on a physical exam, this is only a partial picture of your pet's health, so it is important to let us know if your pet is on any medications, has been diagnosed with any conditions, or has any adverse reactions to drugs. Once your pet has been cleared for surgery by our veterinarian, a team member will come back out to your car to update you and let you know what time you can expect to pick up. Your pet will then be pre-medicated to give them time to relax and let the pain medication kick in prior to surgery. They will then wait comfortably in their holding kennel until it is their turn for surgery. Preparing your pet for surgery entails inducing, intubating, clipping the hair around the surgical site, and sterilizing the area for surgery. Females will have their belly shaved and males will have the area around their scrotum shaved. Then the area will be cleaned to ensure that no fur or bacteria enters the surgical site. They are then brought into the operating room. The operating room is a sterile area where germs are kept to a minimum, temperature is controlled, and the actual surgery is performed. Your pet's anesthesia is monitored during the course of their procedure. Once the surgery is completed, your pet will recover on a bed with their own individual towel on a heated blanket. They will get a dollop of Karo syrup on their gums to prevent hypoglycemia, and they will be monitored until they are awake enough to be placed back in their kennels. You will be called at this point to let you know that your pet is ready to go home. Your pet will get three days worth of pain medication, an e-collar to prevent them from licking or chewing at their incision, and aftercare instructions. We hope you have enjoyed our tour of what to expect. If you have any questions, we would be more than happy to answer them for you. Our goal is to ensure you are comfortable with and informed on your pet's procedure. We thank you for your interest and we hope this video has been helpful.